everybody, and welcome to your typical drugstore movie. My name is Simone, and mm-hmm. this is George, and this is where we watch movie. All right. Uh, <laughs> the Never Ending Story. 1984. Yeah. Uh, looks like fantasy. Looks like yeah. A high fantasy, actually, not like a well, like, Game of what Thrones fantasy. What is that creature with the... It's like a, d- a dog face, dragon claws, and like... A weird f- tail, like <laughs> uh, you mean a snake? A snake. It's a snake. Yeah. Or, yeah. How do you know a they're dragon snake. claws? That could just be snake. Or that could just be dog paws. <laughs> well, they look pretty, like arr, you know, like scaled up a notch. Okay, but they're furry. They are floofy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the tagline yep. says, "A boy who needs a friend finds a world that needs a hero." Well, it sounds like the story of like a lonely mm. kid. And then yeah. enters like an alternate world and turns out he's the chosen one. I have one problem with this movie so far. Already? <laughs> yes, I do. It's, what, it's what happened? Blatant false advertisement. Okay. Explain uh, yourself. It's one hour and 41 minutes. It's definitely not never ending. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good job. Good All right, job, we should probably just start now. That was, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, dumb. yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, okay before we press play um please like and subscribe morning bastion morning yep oh. okay i get it i see what they're doing they're like this boy's weak <laughs> As all children are, like it's. I had another dream, Dad, about Mom. I understand, son. Mm. What the f- is Dad making? It looks like orange juice and then a raw egg. I'm sorry. I know it's a very sad moment, but I'm just really distracted by the Dad's weird drink. I think it's time you and I had. He's just fall. following the the Gaston diet. Mm-hmm. She says that you are <laughs> drawing horses. She also says that you haven't been turning in your homework on time. You didn't even try out for the swimming team. You're old enough to get your head down out of the clouds. Jeez, he seems so young yeah. to get that sort of speech. He's like six, seven. Start facing your problems, okay? I mean, his dad's nice enough about it, but like... Yeah. You have a good day, son. Don't be late for school Oh, again. but we did forget one thing, though. Hmm. Kids back then go to school every day in the snowstorm, and it's uphill both ways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. just tougher back then. <laughs> is that Vancouver? That is Vancouver. That's a steam That's clock. That's Vancouver. That's just Gastown. <laughs> what the hell? You got any cash for today? Let's get up! Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, lonely boy, right? Yeah. We're gonna get you! Uh. Oh. Oh, no! That's horrible. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't like kids. Did he walk into someone's house? <laughs> mm, I think it's a store. <laughs> it just tells people to get out of his store. <laughs> well, he says he doesn't like kids. How did mm. he know, though? Yeah. How did he know? We just sell small rectangular objects. They're called books. I have a treasure island, <laughs> Wizard of Oz, Lord of the Rings. Hey. Wow. Who are you running away from? Just some kids from school. Why don't you give them a good punch in the nose? I don't know. What's that book about? Your books are safe. And that one isn't? Don't worry about it. He's he's so cryptic. (laughs) What does that mean? Is it a book that you actually experience and then what you do changes the outcome of the book? Mm. It's not for you. Is it, is it the never ending story? (laughs) Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a RPG in a book. Did he take the book? Yeah. That's not suspicious at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a growth spurt. <laughs> oh no. I don't know any schools that have addicts, but that's freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. Aside from Hogwarts, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. So dusty. Not only an attic in a school, but an attic with skulls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was midnight in the howling forest. Okay. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
okay oh yeah our patron also warned and said that this is gonna be a rough movie for you yeah and i'm not really sure like which what, part yeah like what that means exactly which means you're but, just gonna be on edge of the whole time waiting for the, oh there's a snail <laughs> oh and and being steamrolled <sighs> Oh my god. Would it be alright if I joined you this evening? <gasps> A delicious looking limestone rock. Nice bouquet. <laughs> Is he a nutcase? No, he's a rock biter. Jesus. Very tasty. Near my home, there used to be a beautiful lake. This is wild. Yeah. It just wasn't there anymore. Not even a dried up lake. Oh. Okay. And then finally, no rocks. Like their world is literally disappearing? What you have told us is also happening where I live. It's already everywhere. My people are sending me to the Empress for help. The Empress. Okay, there's so many things. Yeah. What are we waiting for? That's right, that's yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh. Speedy snail. Oh, about me and my stupid <laughs> This is so weird. The same guy who made Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see the the similarities. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I can't at all. <laughs> <laughs> Does he just get, like cut class all day and read books up in the attic? Boy, that actually sounds like a pretty good life. <laughs> yeah, that's better reason to cut class than I had when I was in high school. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> that's so cool, though. The sense of scale between the yeah, it's really well done. Mm. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> so expecting him to fly into it and goes like a bug zapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I'm looking at really. Like what is that? It's a big flower on top of a tower. She's our only hope. Obi-Wan. <laughs> oh. It's Pi Mei. <laughs> Whoa, but also the scale is like yeah is this based on something like a like a book or something because it's mm. otherwise it's just yeah yeah we're kind of just like thrown in the deep end yeah. with all these look at that, those two head holy things. the nothing is destroying our world the empress herself has become deathly ill so she cannot save us having like this scary thing called the nothing is so good Mm hmm He alone has a chance to fight the nothing. His name is Atreyu. The band? Oh, are they named after this movie? What ba the A band? Yeah, there's a band called Atreyu. I wonder if they're named after... Oh, I've never heard of them. This movie. Atreyu. The Empress had already sent for the Great Warrior. Oh. oh. Okay, so it's he not him, himself. then. It is. It, it's like, that was him. Oh, no, it's not nope. him. Interesting. But he relates to him. Yeah. This is not the time to place for children. You shouldn't have sent for me. <laughs> I'll be happy to go back hunting the purple buffalo. The purple buffalo. Look at all the costumes. The two-headed lady. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, these are great. And if the fish. Really and fish. <laughs> find a cure for the Empress. You must leave all your weapons behind. Is there any chance of success? I do not know. Small chance of success? Certainty <laughs> of death? What are we waiting for? <laughs> Terry Atreyu, but nothing grows stronger every day. Ooh, magic item, maybe. I don't know. Oh shit. It will guide and protect you. I like that design, because usually snakes, I feel like, are always symbols for evil. Mm. Primarily Harry Potter, but right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just food spilling out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he ate that limestone. Most of it was not in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this this movie is one hundred percent not what I expected it to be. <laughs> no, no. A creature of darkness also began his quest. Oh. <gasps> 
Shadow facts. <laughs> the creature of darkness, the Gamork. Gamork? What is it, Artex? I the know horse is like, get out of the way, you're lying on a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what they did, actually, to get the yeah. shot. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to go make one after. Yeah, same. With at least a dozen pieces of bacon. No, not too much. Oh my god, I love <laughs> that so much. I, <laughs> I feel like the movie heard me when I said a dozen bacon, and then it goes, no, not too much. <laughs> I just love the whole, like, eating foods and pretending you're on an adventure, and like, no, you've got to save some for the rest of the journey, or like, <laughs> pretending to eat, like, llama's bread, and, you know, the stuff that we all did as... Normal no, human adults. No. <laughs> That's because you have self control. I just eat all of it and then <laughs> get more. Okay. It's a wolf. Yeah, okay. With crazy green eyes. Atreyu and Artax had searched the Silver Mountain to find Morla, the ancient one, in the deadly swamps of sadness. Swamps of sadness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Well, oh, it's not ending. It's never ending. Oh, God. That's it. You're fired. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's deep. He's really deep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Artex, you're sinking. Oh. Artex! Oh, my God. The swamps get to you. You're my friend. I love you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus! The f***ing bubbles. Holy sh! Oh my god. And it's... Yeah. That's so messed up. Yeah, just... Let's just open with a horse... Drowning. <laughs> That's... Yikes. Is that what everyone was warning us about? I don't know. Because you don't like Maybe. watching that horses was a... get hurt? Yeah. Yeah. The Shell Mountain. The Ancient One. Is it the big dog or is it the, the old guy on the poster? I'm wondering. Morla! <laughs> is the whole thing Morla? Oh. Yup. They keep coming oh. back in the wide <laughs> shot, so. <laughs> Oh, and it's probably like um, a giant turtle, right? Oh, the shell mountain. That makes sense. It's Discworld. Mm. Ah! <laughs> oh. Wait, what? They could hear him. But that's impossible. The ancient one. And he knows that they... I'm very curious. <laughs> we haven't spoken to anyone. <laughs> she just talks in the third person. <laughs> So Her. we started talk. Sir Turtle. <laughs> what the f is going on now? <gasps> Ew. Oh. Did you know that the Empress is very ill? We don't care. If I don't say her, she'll die. We're allergic to youth. <laughs> allergic to youth. You know how I can help so the Empress, rigid. don't you? Yes. <gasps> Oh huh. god, it's like Mary and Pippin talking to the ants. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Please help me. You said you knew- <laughs> Oh god. If it didn't really matter to you, you could tell me. Forget it. It's the end of school already? Yeah. Does that turtle just represent depression? <laughs> like just... Oh, I mean, it's like, what is it? The Swamp of Sadness? Yeah. I need to know about, like- he yelled when he yeah. obviously I assume that he read the description of the turtle and it scared him. And then they heard him, but then the book shows that they heard something. Like I am so curious. It really feels like they're going down the road where he can impact how the story plays out. Mm. And it depends on how he feels, maybe. Maybe. But I'm so I was also really weirded out that the hero wasn't him. Yeah. Maybe he gets yeah. to be the Deus Ex. Machina. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Your main character is the day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. Mamma mia. A tree you wouldn't quit now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, he also did choose the creepiest spot. Yeah. 
Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. That is so mucky. Yeah. Ugh. Does the wolf get caught in the mud, too? <laughs> or can he just, like, run on the top of it? Oh, there, there's the dog snake. <laughs> kind of fish. Whoa. Oh, it's like a, it's like an Asian dragon. <gasps> I gotta keep reading. <laughs> he was clean, and his wounds were dressed. <laughs> the hair and the outfit huh. on the kid is just like a childhood version of Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it does have back feet. On the poster, the thing didn't have yeah. back feet. Yeah, it's like a, it's a Chinese dragon, but with a wolf mm. or dog head. And no wings. Do Chinese dragons have wings? No, they're snake bodies. No. <laughs> oh my god. Is this whole thing like an like a puppet, like an animatronic sort of puppety thing? I was trying to sneak away. I'm a luck dragon. A luck dragon. Okay. You talked in your sleep. <laughs> Scratch behind my right ear. I know it's just because we started watching Breaking Bad season four, but he sounds like Brian Cranston. Oh yeah, just a little bit like Brian Cranston doing a voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on a tongue. Oh. You're on your way to the Southern Oracle. You know how to get there? Why, sure. Oh, he can like travel really fast. Treyu, never give up. Oh my God, I love the nose. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, why am I tilting my head like I'm trying to peek it? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Wait, oh, he's not the one singing. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Get out of my light, witch. Uh, oh. You're... <laughs> What the boy needs now is one of my potions. I but feel like uh, well Princess Bride <laughs> took from this. Yeah. Uh, he's well. <laughs> they also make me think of Monty Python characters. Mm. The patient telling the doctor it's all right. You're mm. so right. That was a very like John Cleese like inflection. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. The patient tells the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my batwing broth flavored with sandworms. Ew. I am somewhat of an expert on the Southern Oracle. It's my scientific speciality. <laughs> my name is Ingebook. She's a girl. To the witch, witch. <laughs> to the witch, witch. <laughs> oh, that is, that's funny. I like these two. Have you ever been to the Southern Oracle? It works scientifically. <laughs> What is that? It's like a focus laser point thing. It's the first of the two gates you must pass through, most people. Never get that far. Here comes one that looks fancy. Let's see what he really thinks of himself. <laughs> I wonder if Peter Jackson, like, maybe spoke with Wolfgang Peterson about, or at least studied this, right? To figure yeah. out a sense of scale. The Sphinx's eyes <laughs> are they open or shut a little? Let me see. Okay. Oh, is it like an ego sensor <laughs> or something? Like if you, like. Yeah. The sphinxes can see straight into your heart. I'm gonna try. I'm scared Hello. now. There he goes. Okay. Sense of self worth. Too much or too little, I guess. Both could be dead. Why can't the dragon just fly over it? It's not in the script. <laughs> Oh. Is it a wisdom check or charisma check? Oh. Don't start to doubt yourself. Be confident. Be confident. <laughs> ah. Run a trail. Run. Run a can you dodge the zap zaps? Oh. I guess you can. Wow. Okay. So it's interesting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the worst one is coming up. Next. Yeah, what is the other gate? As to face his true self. So what? Uh, oh, yeah. Kind people find that they are cruel. Most men run away. Oh, what's my true self? 
I don't even want to know what my true self is. I can't be more disappointed than I already am at myself, am I? See, maybe it's the opposite. Like you think you're so like, but you're actually not, you know? <laughs> it's just two of me going <sighs> at each other. <laughs> is it like when you have to fight yourself in Elden Ring? <laughs> I, I think every RPG ever has a fight that's yourself. Oh, that's fair. It's like one of the most commonly used. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man i need someone to come up with a game like that what if they do know about me and fantasia hey this movie <laughs> is bonkers yeah it's it's really creative is he there the with him an oracle we have been waiting for you are you the southern oracle yes the empress needs a Gotta be. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he has to reach the real boy reading. Couldn't, like, he just, like, say a name and they would hear? Hmm. No, they have to cross over. I don't know. <laughs> just getting over. Okay. Oh my god! I like the dragon kind of has a Fu Manchu <laughs> mustache. Oh. <laughs> His eyes are so crazy. Yeah. Mom, Dude. <laughs> he had such a wonderful name. Oh. He doesn't realize yet that it's him. That mm -hmm. they are. That's really cool. Look, Atreus. The nothing. Get out of there. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, he lost the thing. Good, strong hands. The little man with his racing snail. Mm. Yeah, what happened to them? I couldn't <laughs> hold on to them. Oh. Oh, which means they, they got sucked up into the... I failed. Oh. No, you didn't fail. I lost the Orin. I can't find my luck dragon. I will just sit here and let it take me... Jesus. Oh my god. That was so grim. Yeah. <sighs> Stop moving. <laughs> I am the Gmork. I can't get beyond the boundaries of Fantasia. Fantasia has no boundaries. It's the world of human fantasy. Why is Fantasia dying? People have begun to forget their dreams. What is the nothing? The emptiness that's left. People who have no hope are easy to control. <gasps> Who are you really? Sent to kill the only one. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know. Yeah. If we're about to die anyway, I'd rather die fighting! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. I told the old lady on the Titanic not to throw in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I get it though. I kind of get it. Like the nothing is like, is yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of Fantasia. Oh wow. Well, what? Good old Falco. Can you see anything? No. Let the Orin guide you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but everything else is just like. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the I second also, take. <laughs> really? There was two bites out of the apple, one on the other side. It's probably from an <laughs> earlier take. <laughs> the Empress. All the creatures. Maybe they're the lower levels? The winking, man. <laughs> you got this, kid. <laughs> oh. Okay. Not what I expected. <laughs> I thought it would be like the, the kid's mother, like the reader. Yeah. I, you. I have failed you, Empress. You brought him with you. The one who can save us all. I just barely got away from the nothing. It was the only way to get in touch with an earthling. He went through everything you went through. It's clicking. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? sharing your adventures others are sharing his whoa huh. that is this impossible they were with it's him it's like they're talking to us now that's super weird yeah i can't believe it oh come on kid <laughs> hurry 
<laughs> fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. He's the one who has the power to stop it. Is it really me? Come on, come Kid, on, come dude. On. <laughs> chosen it but it's only a story it's not real oh my god okay say the freaking name <laughs> linda or whatever just say it <laughs> it better be a real good name <laughs> oh my god yeah that is weird whoa i wish i could i could keep my feet on the ground stupid like dad, dad ruining said. everything so the dad and the bullies Holy sh Holy sh indeed. Yeah, she is intense. The music was really loud. I didn't hear the name. Yeah. In the beginning, it is always dark. All that remains of my vast empire. Fantasia can arise and you open your hand. What are you going to wish for? How many wishes do I get? As many as you want. Try it. Oh shit! Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Let's. I, I want to ride a dragon too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the actress who plays the Empress. Yeah. Is so good. Yeah. Cause she's like obviously like super young, but has this like presence. Mm hmm. Like a young Empress. <laughs> and everyone's back. <laughs> They're like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they had this. <laughs> oh. That horse sinking scene was freaking rough. It's so grim. Yeah. Did. Are they seeing the dragon? Is he... <laughs> my next wish is that I really want to scare these assholes. <laughs> oh my god. Does anyone else see? Oh my god. Everyone sees it. <laughs> Sequel is just a dragon attacking Vancouver. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna have to walk down this alleyway when, when I visit Vancouver again. Yeah. Bastion made many other oh. wishes before he finally returned. That's another story. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, what a trip. That was weird, but it was really sweet. Yeah. And really grim at times. Yeah. So, Fantasia, fantasy, imagination, is that why the bookstore owner was so interested in him once he mentioned how he read all these other fantasy stories? So he's like, oh, there's a kid that has imagination. I can yeah, pass. I think... Like, he was the previous owner of that book, right? So he probably was the reason for that previous version of Fantasia existing. So he's like, I can pass it on to someone else now. Yeah, and it was kind of like to doing the opposite of yeah. what like the dad said at the beginning. He's like, don't don't lose that like yeah. childlike dreams and imagination. Yeah. And stuff. And like, yeah, and the bookstore owner was like, it doesn't beep or like they're you know, like it's yeah. Kind of like a jab at at kids these days. They only like electronics and stuff and no one wants to pick up a good book or yeah <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> oh man and i guess the nothing started destroying the world because the book owner because he was like getting old too old and he like yeah, yeah. never <laughs> trivia ending 1984 the <laughs> uh <Awesome>. sorry uh, <laughs> yeah, oh God. contrary to a rumor the horse that play Artax did not really die during filming. Thank <laughs> you, God. Sense. I didn't thank know that you, was thank a rumor, you, thank yeah. you. In fact, two identical horses were used for the scene, and they were professionally trained by a horse handler for months. While the scene was filmed, the crew would alternate between the two of them. Both horses remained unscathed. Yeah. Peterson also expressed full understanding in the shock reaction of the audience, and he also said that the sadness of the scene was necessary for the story and the character. I'm not going to lie. It was like... I had to turn my brain off a little bit during mm. that scene because you could see like the panic in the horse's eyes and it's really, really hard. It looked really not real, to, yeah. Not to get worked up about how like, people are going to make fun of me, I don't care. Like just how the horse felt during that. Oh yeah, like, no, no, it's yeah, like the, it's fair. It's like the rat in the abyss. Yeah. That it is experiencing actual fear. Yeah, I think, I think, I think a lot yeah. of people, I mean the, the few, the, some people make fun of, you mostly uh when you yeah. are like distressed 
at a scene where an animal uh, falls or gets not hurt. Real. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, but the people yeah. acting in the movie know they're in a movie. The animal doesn't. Yeah, the animals don't. It yeah. genuinely yeah. thinks it's just being hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. You can ride on Falkor's back on location at the Bavarian film, mark, film park, Munich, Germany. That's, oh, that's cool. pretty cool. It was in Munich. I, I didn't know about that. Well, I mean, obviously, because I haven't seen this movie at the time, but yeah. huh. it's just missed opportunity. Got to go back. Yeah. Oh, I would love to go back to Munich. Alrighty, that wraps up this episode of Cinebench. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, we'd like to thank our patrons and shout out to uh, oh, yeah. Noah Ortiz, Nico Dumas, Nine Four Four, Nathan Jasper, Nate Gavin, um, Shark Four Nineteen, Movie Dan, Mike Adams, Michael Ritter, Matthew S, Louis Scrigley, Nora, Kenny Zavacado Toast, Ken, Evan Shake, JW Fuzzy. Justin Singri, John Zalika, John Swan, Jody Mukamisov, Jumanda33, Jason, James Lee, Jiggy Jig, Jakey Biggie, Shaggy Boy, Jacob, Hyperdrive, Hub30, and Harold Wright. Thank you all very much. Thank you guys so much. You are the best. Bye.